got Jackson Finley on the line. Jackson's a DB out of Vancouver. Um, he has done a few of our combines uh, through CanadaFootballChat.com, and he has just recently, uh, probably a year now, come onto our radar and, and is moving himself up our rankings quite quickly. So you're just joining us today for the first time. Welcome. We're glad you're with us. So uh, just quickly, be sure to follow us on our Facebook at Chat Football, our, our Instagram, CFC underscore football, and our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Jackson, thanks for coming on here. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. So you've, uh, it's Friday. You've got the, you're either doing your work from home or you've got the day off. Yeah, it's, it's good. Um, I feel like I've been, I've been busy recently, especially the days that um, I'm at home. There's a lot of assigned work. So fall into a rhythm. So it's, it's been good. How did you get started in football? I was actually uh, super, super into sports from a young age. I played soccer. I played hockey. Um, I loved it all. And then um, my dad was actually super involved in football, but he didn't want to force it upon me. So he kind of let me figure it out. But I was actually recommended to play football by one of my hockey coaches. Um, he saw that uh, I was pretty athletic and that, um, that'd be a, a sport that suited me well. So, um, in grade three, I joined a flag football team in the GSL. And then from there I ended up playing in the GSL grade five was my first year of tackle. And, and I loved it. I played like uh, a running back linebacker kind of, kind of moving throughout the field positions weren't weren't super important back then but what do you like most about the position that you're in now at uh, DB you also play at safety what do you like about that well defense in general um just being able to react to plays um reading an offense um studying film and picking up habits in the game and then it, it's it shows off my athleticism pretty well I can make breaks I can play physical all of that comes together and it, it's just super super fun I find it the most fun out of out of any position on the field. So I'm not sure if you've done this already, but CFC just recently launched um, our new uh, player profile platform. And um, so you can go on there and you can upload and, and update any information as, as many times as you want. And uh, so highlight film, um, if you've done workout videos or combine film, you can put in there. Um, and when we do scouting reports on you, uh, that will all be in there. Any articles that we've done, they'll all be linked in this player profile so that you can see uh, it just exactly kind of, it's your football resume on our site. So um, for those of you who are watching, please do go on CanadaFootballChat.com and um, go into this submit my profile under the prospect search on the menu tab and uh, you can upload all of that information. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do that. What type of player would you say that you are? I would say that I'm a like a read and react player. I'm a smart player. I can I can communicate with my teammates, and then I also like to play physical. So taking on any blocks, making contact with receivers. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm a I'm a hard player. Um, I, I like to get dirty, so that's how <laughs> I see myself. In terms of your demeanor, are you more of a, a quiet teammate, or are you a little bit louder? I would say that I'm a quiet teammate until I get on the field. And then um, on the field, I, 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 I talk constantly um, about <laughs> stuff. So, so um, yeah, about that's what stuff. I say. <laughs> Plays, <laughs> other football stuff, you know. What type of coaching would you say that you respond best to in light of that? I would say a coach that, that challenges me um, to get better doesn't let me take any easy ways out. I, I feel like I, I thrive off of, off of challenges. So mm -hmm. um, a coach that's pushing me to do better uh, every day, um, even if that's not easy, I'm not coasting through practice. Um, that's what I like the most out of a coach. Typically during the season, what do you like best about football? Is it, um, are you, do you love practice? Are there any team rituals that you guys have or game day uh, routines that are really special to you? Yeah, um, game days in general are, are my favorite thing because after our games, uh, we usually go back to VC and eat together as a team. I, I, I just love it. Um, we also have some, some, we usually have bonding experiences um, throughout our preseason and, and sometimes throughout the season. 
um, mm-hmm. like a unity camp where we all sleep in a big gym together for, for a day and then do some activities together. So it's too bad some of that couldn't happen this year, but um, that's what I love. What are your goals for this season? So my goals were to improve on the physical aspect, um, get stronger, get faster. And in a way, the pandemic actually helped me do that because usually in the spring, um, I would be doing track, spring basketball, and uh, like studying for exams. I wouldn't have much free time to do anything at all. But because of this pandemic, I've, I've been able to, to, to work out almost every day. And I've been on some really good programs that have actually um, significantly improved my, my strength and speed and quickness. Uh, I mean, I know your dad has uh, extensive knowledge in the strength and conditioning world. Um, and I know that he's, I think he did the VC program a while ago, if I understand correct, correct me if I'm wrong. How has your off-season training, you've, you've described it a little bit, but how has your off-season training I guess, carried on into now. And are you doing stuff uh, more of your team program again, or are you continuing to do more under your dad's guidance or under programs that you've found yourself? Yeah. So throughout the, the summer, I've been on my dad's programs. And then as school has started, um, we've begun to practice around two days a week as a team. So I'm still doing my dad's program along with um what our football team's doing together. You are ranked CFC 200, so that's uh, congratulations. And you've, uh, the, the ranking that just came out, you've actually raised your stock quite a bit from the first time you went on there. So that's also exciting. I know we watched you at the uh, BC uh, CFC Selection Camp Combine just recently, well, I guess a couple months now, and you had a 4.8 with your laser, a uh, 9.9 and a, a 32.4. Uh, Vert, so those uh, you're one of our better testers for sure. Um, so that training is has and is paying off. How has the recruiting process been for you? Um, and have you been have coaches been reaching out to you? What what's that looked like for you? Yeah, the recruiting process has been great. Um, I've had some some great talks with with coaches throughout the country. Most of them um, schools in Ontario and and some of the Maritimes, a few local schools as well. All in all, it's been great. I feel like I've, I've had a great experience. I'm talking with them, getting to know the programs. Um, it's been a little tough this year because there's no in-person tours mm-hmm. of the campus or anything like that. Um, so it's all, it's all uh, on Zoom and, and on phone. So what are you looking for in your future school, uh, both academically and athletically? I highly value my my academics, that's something I believe I would put above or with football. Um, mm-hmm. So definitely, I would have to go to a school that has, has great academics, would help me uh, in and out of the classroom. And then um, also as competitive program, I know playing football at a university is a massive commitment. And I would love to be playing with a program that, that I enjoy. So that's definitely two things I, I love doing in schools. I would also love to live on campus. Um, at the schools so having a cool little campus on it may, maybe in a, in a big city um, or in a small town it depends um, which school I'm looking at those are the things I've been looking for in a school. To help you out with that recruiting process there's the recruiting tip section on canadafootballchat.com and we have a lot of information and resources on there that um, can help you you know make checklists and, and narrow things down so that you can make um, the process a little less murky than it can sometimes be if you don't have somebody guiding you through that. So um, the recruiting tip section on CFC is really, uh, I feel is really helpful and beneficial to a lot of prospects. So that being said, um, recruiting can be pretty uh, strenuous for some, for some athletes. How have you dealt with the process in that way, in, in the mental aspect um, with the, the stress maybe of it or anxiety of it, and especially now with the pandemic um, have you have you felt any increased pressure uh, because of that? There has definitely been an increased pressure because uh, the the time frame is a little different this year. Our season may may look different. Usually, we would have um, kind of a decision making when the season ends or a kind of kind of mid season if if you really find your match. Um, this year has been a little different. I know uh, there's some early applications out, so. That's something to be considered as well when looking at schools. The coaches have really helped me out from all of these schools. Uh, 
I've had great experiences talking with him. They've really allowed me to kind of make a choice of what's best for me. Um, they want me to do uh, what I want to do and go where I want to go. So that has been great. What type of performance expect- expectations do you put on yourself? Who kind of keeps you grounded through that? I definitely put high expectations on myself. Um, I feel like I have a lot of room for improvement. I have been improving a lot. And this all comes with, with hard work. As long as I keep working hard, I'm going to see those results. Um, I'm confident in that. Yeah, my, my, my dad has been, has been the best when it comes to that. He's really, really supported me and helped me improve throughout, throughout all of this um, kind of fuzzy area with COVID. But I, I feel like um, that, that performance pressures has kind of been eased a bit just because the amount of work I'm putting in, it ends up showing out when I perform in uh, combines and, and other stuff like that. I've talked to a number of prospects as well who actually don't feel it's that hard to, I guess, say no to parties or, or other things that may pull you away from y- your dream or, or the goals that you've set for yourself and the routines that you have to do in order to, to achieve those. How hard is it for you to either A, surround yourself with like-minded people or be able to, to stand up maybe to, to those peer pressures? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, at VC, I believe that our culture, um, at least on the football team, is, is great. It, it doesn't put that stuff down, but it also doesn't, doesn't promote it. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of the, the guys on the team have that same mindset. Um, they want to get better. They don't want to kind of distract themselves. Going there, I, I feel like I already surround myself with those people with the same mindset mm-hmm. as me who want to get better, who want to give themselves the best chance to possibly play in post-secondary. So that has been been great for me. Where do you hope football is going to take you? I would love to play um, post-secondary. And I know having that football on your resume is, is great when, when applying to get a job, to go into med school, um, to get into these high expectation areas you have to apply for. So I feel like football would, would really help me with that, as well as building life skills, um, communication, teamwork, hard work, fighting through adversity. All of that um, kind of plays its role in real life. So that's where I hope football takes me. If it takes me to another level of football, that'd be great. But I feel like it's, it's something that will help me in life and has already. We're going to play a game called Rapid Fire. Or we're going to give you a statement of like two choices and you're going to pick one or the other or you're just going to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Sound good? First one, what are you watching on Netflix? Um, to be honest, I don't watch too much Netflix. I do love watching crime shows with my dad. Um, he loves watching those detective shows. Um, so we've been watching a bit of that. They're, they're pretty fascinating. What would you wear? A helmet, visor, and a backplate, or gold-colored cleats? Gold-colored cleats, because VC is gold, so it'd be perfect. What's on your playlist for your music? I would say uh, 90s rock, 80s rock. Kind oh, of you are in the wrong older. generation. <laughs> Crime shows in the 80s. <laughs> Exactly. You're speaking, my, you're speaking my language here, Jackson. Um, okay, so you're the general manager of a professional football team. You have the first pick of the draft. Who are you taking, either now or uh, a former player or previous player? I am taking maybe oof, there's some good players right now. Um, mm-hmm. Justin Fields, maybe. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Dogs or cats? Ooh dogs what's your favorite blockbuster Ooh, uh force gum think vacation adventure race or sit on a beach adventure race twitter instagram or facebook instagram if you could only have one video game what would it be super smash bros <laughs> sorry if you could meet one person a non-athlete in the world either past or present who is it? Ooh, uh, this one's a tough one. Maybe Elon Musk. He's a cool oh, guy. That's a, that's a great answer. Have you read his biography? I've not read his biography, but. Oh, dude, you have to read it. It is fascinating. The guy is a genius and such a psychopath at the same time. You would really enjoy it. Good luck with your plans and your recruiting. Uh, Thank keep you. up the good work and uh, hopefully. We'll, uh, we'll be able to see where you land up. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. 
Looking for more exclusive Canadian recruiting content? Become a CFC Insider Gold or Silver member today for access to rankings, analysis, and the latest recruiting news from across the country.